Hey everyone and welcome back to Aliens on Toast Gaming and welcome back to our progression series in The Isle. Today we're playing as this little cutie. This is the Dryasaurus and unlike the last guy, the Psittacosaurus or whatever the hell it was, this guy is a lot faster. <laughs> He's a heck of a lot faster. He can jump, you can attack, you... You're essentially a real dinosaur now. Um, our goals are still the same. We all... Oh, I thought that was a raptor. We want to get to water. We want to find a sustainable amount of food. And we need to survive, basically. And then we'll level up from there. But the big difference between this guy and the last guy is that, yes, this guy is a lot faster, but he's also a bit bigger and a lot more noticeable. People keep an eye out for dryos. Uh, they're easy to catch, as most dinosaurs. They don't have much health. Um, so, it's quite easy to kind of take one bite of them and that's it. They're lunch for you for that day. Um, so yeah, it's, they're, they're a common dinosaur snack. Um, but we have to survive for a while as this guy. So let's figure out where we are. We're at 204, 64. We've got a few lakes written down, and the closest one... Ooh, there's none that are really close. I think the closest one is one that's called Center Lake, and that's about this way-ish. Um, so we'll just continue towards that one. That's unfortunately also kind of a big carnival area, <laughs> being as it's like the center of the map. Um, but it's good because there's very little area you can get kind of ambushed in at the moment. They've just brought in this new like redwood forests kind of spot. Um, giant trees. Not very many places to hide in. Which is good for us because it means we can just dart in there, get a drink, and dart back out. And we can kind of keep an eye on the surroundings. But it's also not good for us if there is stuff down there. They'll see us pretty early. Uh, those trees over there, that's where we want to go, those tall trees in the background. Um, so instead of running straight through the middle of this uh, gleaming white desert, how about we take a bit of a safe route? Ooh. Bit of raptor down there. So that's not good for us. He's he's heading to CL as well. Ooh, okay. Um, so we'll have to we'll go around we'll go around the long way. Essentially what we'll do is we'll oof, we'll try our best not to get eaten. And all we need, I think, is this guy is, yeah, one drink. Doesn't matter how big, how small it is, we just need to sip and then back to the forest. As soon as we can. And we'll see how we go. Um, having a raptor around is going to be difficult because, as you can probably guess, those guys are a little bit quicker than I am and do a little bit more damage than I would like. So we're going to have to play this one smart. We'll take it slow. We just need to get in get out. Get out of my way, tree. Let me devour you. Um, but having that wrapped up there means there's probably a good chance of other dinos being around as well. So we will have to play, play this one safe. Um, is that daytime yet? Come on, where's that day coming? Ah, I guess the lake is in that direction. That's where we want to head. Um, so once our stamina kind of fills up, we'll head over there. See how we do. I mean, if we die, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I wouldn't like to stay alive. I mean, I don't want to go back to that goddamn slow Tarkasaurus again. Ugh. That was, that was not, a, not a fun adventure. Oh, I accidentally feigned limping. My bad. Let's just, let's just take it slow. Let's just play it by ear. I mean, the worst part about the current lake environments is that there's no bushes around them. I noticed that at the Triples Lake, because usually what you do is you'd hide in the bushes around there and you'd dart down the water, dart back to the bushes, and you'd be pretty much safe. Um, finding someone in the bushes used to be really difficult. But nowadays... It's not so easy. You've got these kind of wide expanses. Very minimal place to hide in. 
and knowing that rap is there doesn't make me feel comfortable. And he could also just appear from anywhere. He could be watching in the tree, waiting for us to pop out. Um, so we need to take this really carefully. So as you can see, like there, like there. And once we take that drink, we'll just head straight back to the trees and... <laughs> take it, take it easy. We don't have to worry so much. Um, I think I thought I saw something down there for a second then. Yeah, there is something down there. I'm not sure if that's right above my head. It's either a dead body or a glitch in the matrix. Either one does not burn well. So if we just take our time down in this direction, hopefully we'll be okay. Ooh, I don't like this. Let's just scout around for a second. See if we can see anyone hiding on the other side or scoping the place out. Like I said last time too, they could be hiding under the water because they haven't implemented kind of a swimming mechanic yet. Which makes me kind of nervous. Um, rather than heading for that lake, we might turn around and head over there. Because we'll be closer to the lake before we break from the cover of the trees. We've got a much better chance of getting close to the water before we're seen. Because I'm almost positive there's going to be a carnivore hiding in there. And I don't like that. Oh man. Let's take it nice and slow. And why is it so dark? These trees do not make for good visibility. Oh. That makes me nervous in itself. I could just walk straight into a carnival. Oop, and it's daytime. Okay, that's kind of bad news for us. We wanted the shade of, of these trees to kind of hide us a little bit. But at least we'll be able to see danger kind of coming before it gets to us. Theoretically. Um, oh man, this is tense! I can't remember the last time I was this tense in a game. Um, but now that it's daytime, this is what we look like. We're a little, like, what you'd expect a dinosaur to look like if I stand up. That's lying down. What am I doing? That's what we look like. We look like a dinosaur. Uh, these guys, too, aren't always this color. Um, quite often you'll find green ones, or if you're a carnival, bright white albino ones. Um, but I've got a cool skin. I like that. So, keeping an eye out for any suspicious dinosaur activity. Well, apparently the texture streaming pool is over 50, whatever that means. Ooh, they do have bushes in the forest. Okay, that makes me feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, means we can kind of get down to the water, jump back to these bushes here, and kind of have a semblance of camouflage amongst the leaves. Somewhat. <laughs> um, but we still have to play it smart, because that Utah Raptor could be hiding anywhere. I suppose the good thing is we should kind of be able to see in the water if he is there. Um, he's probably a lot more visible during the day. So we'll just take it slow. Watch our backs. If he's hiding up here, we're screwed because that's where we want to run to. Um, okay, let's take a drink. Get in there. Get out. Back to the trees. Back to the trees. Back to the trees. Has anyone seen us? Anyone chasing us? No, not from that direction. Oh, don't run into the trees, that's not what we want. Okay, into the shrubbery. Hiding nice and safe. Okay, we should be good now. Oh, oh my goodness, that scared the shezes out of me. I didn't know there were rocks and stuff here, this is cool. Uh, this reminds me of like the forest moon of Endor. It's that kind of redwood tree. 
look th to it. Um, okay, but let's get out of let's get out of the redwoods. Let's let's go to let's go to that forest over there. So we've got some food available to us because I don't think we can eat these trees. No, they're too big. Apparently, a regular sized tree is digestible by this tiny dinosaur, but anything bigger than that, no, that's ridiculous. Can we eat this guy? Yes, we can. Okay, let's just head to the hills. Run for our lives. Man, I'm I'm surprised we didn't see anyone down there. That is a prime hunting spot. Oh. I'm just... I'm shocked. I thought there was going to be more action. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad there wasn't, because that means I survived for another day. Um, still wary, though. I don't want someone to just pop out of the trees behind us and chase us down, because we haven't got much cover at all in that direction. We'd have to run back down there to actually find anything. Oh, but that's cool. I am, I'm glad we survived. Okay, we're full on food, so let's let's head back this way. We might see some dinosaurs coming into to CL then. Hopefully they won't see us watching them. Um, I think the, the desert's this way-ish. From my recollection. Might even see some big dinosaurs. Let's see how we go. Uh, and I know I mentioned it last time in this game, but out of everything that this game has to offer, the thing I'm most impressed with is the graphics quality. You may not have heard that, but I heard a large carnival. Um, so the thing I'm most impressed with with this game is how good it looks. I mean, this is an alpha version of a game, and it is extremely rare that you find a game that looks this nice. It's just, it's not common. It's really uncommon. Um, but it, it shows a lot of promise in the game. I mean, if this is the alpha version and it looks this good, you know that the final version is <laughs> going to be something to talk about. And yes, that's a large dinosaur down there. Um, which means we should be careful because not only is there a large dinosaur down there, but it might chase up some of the smaller dinosaurs into the trees. That's not what we want. Ah, yep, there he is. There's that large dinosaur hiding down there. This is not a good spot to hide. He's kind of sculling around down on the water's edge down there. Creepy. You can see he's just flicking his tail, hiding down there in the water. Goodbye, little friend. But he's a lot more visible in the water than I expected. It's kind of cool. Um, I, don't, I heard a Utah really quickly then, and I think it came from that direction. So let's not go in that direction. Big guy, not much of a threat to us. I mean, if he catches us, we can probably outrun, if not outmaneuver him. Um, but the Utah can outrun and outmaneuver us. So, we don't want to bump into one of them. It's going to be so fun when I finally do the carnival progression too. That's going to be good. Look at that guy. Stomping around like he owns the place. And he totally does. Because I'm not going to, I'm not going to compete against you. It's all yours, dude. Yeah, yeah, we know. I think that that is a juvenile, uh, sub-adult Rex. So, not, not the full Rex, but it's baby brother. Um, but it's very hard to tell from back here. Can't quite see the details properly. Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. Let's, uh... Someone's probably heard that, so I'm gonna run this direction. Just in case. Oh, I accidentally hit, like, the special, uh, dino call button, I guess. Uh, not what I meant to do. I can honestly say that was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I wanted to get out of there. So that's fine. 
Um, so we might just keep a watch over, like, this desert while we wait for things to kind of cool down. What is that? A dead tree? Oh, that is a dead dinosaur. Oh my god, that is cool! What the hell are you doing here? What happened? Can I eat you? I can eat the trees, I can't eat you. I thought I was eating you for a second and I was very confused. What is... This makes me so much more creeped out than it should. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Because that means either A, the large dinosaur that was hanging out by those lakes is killing off other dinosaurs, which, fair enough, it needs to eat. Or B, there's something else that's hunting around here that I didn't see. And that makes me uncomfortable. So let's just go take a sit down over here and watch the day go past a bit. See if we see anything cool. Because um, it's quite often you'll see a, a carnivore, or even a large herbivore, run over this lake. Well, this dried up lake. And it's kind of cool seeing like the traffic. It's just, just a chilled out thing to keep you occupied while you're waiting for your progression points to tick up. And we've only got a few of those left, so we're doing pretty well. Um. Oh, also, I should mention, you guys, if you have this game, can totally join me if you wanted to, because I'm playing on the Isle of Winter progression server. Um, so if you ever feel like jumping in someday, chances are you might bump into me while I'm recording. Um, I'm nervous. I'm just waiting for something to pop out of the trees. Well, there's the, the big dude. He's leaving the lake now. I think... I think he's over there. I saw something moving around in the background. Um, yeah, there he is. Walking down the lake. I think he must have killed that guy. It looks like he's coming back to the body. Um, I don't know what he's doing. He's just flailing around. He's also coming straight for us, almost. Oh no, he's kind of sidewinding us. But he's getting a... Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's coming a lot closer than I feel comfortable with. So I'm going to head back this way. I'm just going to take off. Yeah, you... Yeah, you're good, buddy. You're good. I'm gonna roar, intimidate you. Get out of my territory. <laughs> Please. Um, he's probably heard that. I don't think he's gonna go hunting for me, though. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm a little bit faster than him. Plus, I've got a hell of a head start. Um, but this is just... I know I mentioned it last time, but every time I play this game, I'm amazed by the scenery. Like... The little moments like it's sunset and sunrise when you've just got the rays of light hitting you. It's magical. Let's chase the shadow. Can I chase it? No, I'm too slow. Hella slow. But that's fine. Whatever. Don't need no shadow to follow. I'm my own man with my own rules. I'm my own dino. Okay, let's just kind of zen out over here. Don't need to worry. Just be happy. Chill. He's following us. He's following us. He is very much following us. Oh dear, I do not like that. He he has just beeline straight for us. Oh, can I see him coming through the trees? I do not like that. I need to head to somewhere which has got much better protection than this. I'm tempted to head back down to the lake because I know at least that there's... Um, like shrubbery there we can hide in. Oh, I didn't think he would follow us. And I'm kind of impressed he has. Dedication. He's hungry. Either that or he's just got a passion for killing small dinosaurs. Um, or he could just be casually and accidentally moving in the same direction we are. Which is totally a possibility. But just in case I'm going to get out of here. Oh man, I'm nervous. Because I know for a fact I can do shit all against that guy. If he, if, if 
he gets close enough to me, my little nibbles aren't going to do anything. I can maybe hide behind him and hope I outturn the guy, but apart from that, oh, what do I like to think? I do not like to think. So let's just sprint as far as we can away from him. Uh, maybe we'll head down to this the grove of trees down here and we'll just chill out there for a bit. Hope that he's not following. If he is, I mean, he's he's quite a tracker. Um, yeah, let's let's chill down at these trees down here. They're a little bit out of the way. There, you're not going to be looking for a dinosaur there. Um, so if we just sit right next to this one. We'll just recuperate, take a deep breath, just wait out this adventure. <laughs> oh man, that was... I did not like that. Don't do that to me again. Oh. I like that we're kind of hiding in the shadows there now. That was something you couldn't do in the last update. It was really difficult to actually like hide in most places. The only places you really could hide were bushes and shrubs and stuff like that. Um, so being able to hide at the base of this tree is... Whew, I like it. It gives me options. Now we're almost recuperated, so let's just eat our cover. That's not our cover, that's our cover. We'll just meander down this way. We'll go hide in a bush or something down there. One of those ones we can see just over there. Maybe sit on top of a, a rock or something. And hope that no one's expecting a dryer to be sitting out in the open. Uh, how long have we got left? We've got five minutes left until we can progress. That's plenty of time. I feel very comfortable about actually hitting that target. But I guess it's all the play of the game. I don't like my chances. Well, I do like my chances. I don't like my chances of lucking out and not seeing somebody else. Get over that log. Ooh, I could hide next to this log. That's something I could do. I'll go... I wonder if I can eat this tree. No, nope, that tree is not edible. But I could just chill right here. I don't... Not conspicuous at all. Beautiful. Ooh, I can hide there. Actually, got a better spot. Better spot. This is like hide and seek. Except, a lot more is on the line. Yep, and... Sit down here. How do we look? I can't even tell. My camera's glitching. <laughs> that's not what we want. Okay, that's a terrible spot. I should have stuck with my original plan. What if we can hide here? Yeah, that's... Not awful. It's also not great. I need to work on my hiding skills, apparently. I wonder if you just hide up next to this rock. How that works. That's a lot better. Coming from that way, you can barely see that. It just looks like a black glitch at the bottom of the, the rock there. Ah, but I'm glad we survived. The dryer used to be the hardest thing to progress from because it was just picked off so often. It was just standard food for most dinosaurs. But I'm feeling good. I feel like we have made it to the next stage, even though we technically haven't progressed yet. Um, we've got tons of food, we've got tons of water. All we have to do is just chill out, wait for the magic to happen, wait for dino puberty to set in. Because we're, we're in a pretty good spot. No one can see us from that direction. The only place you can kind of see us is if you're side onto this rock. Because even coming forwards, we're, we're hidden. We are well hidden. This is looking good. Ah. So when we get to the next stage, what we get to turn into is a Gallimimus. And I've mentioned them already. They're the, they're the only AI in the game at the moment. They're technically... Oh, well, they used to be the fastest. I'm not sure if they are. The Utah Raptor just got a buff. So it used to be pretty slow. Now it's probably one of the fastest ones in the game. If not the fastest. Um, and Galley also kind of shares that title. It used to be able to just, like, once you're a Galley, you pretty much don't have to worry about anyone, because 
You can just zip around and get out of the way. Ain't no fuss. But, I'm not sure if that's still the case with these new Utahs running around. Oh wow, we're really close to the lake. You can see it just peeking through there. I thought we were a, a lot further away. But, I mean, that's cool. I mean, we're on the outskirts, so... Maybe we should head in a bit more. Let's let's do that. We've still got a few minutes of, of downtime before we progress. But... It'd be good to get a really good spot. Somewhere we do not have to worry about. Um, like, there's no way, or really a tiny chance that someone's going to bump into us. Wow, I cannot get over this rock. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is the spot. This is it. This is it. Hidden. Frickin' hidden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll progress, and I'll show you the Gallimimus next time. So see you all in the next video. Stay toasty. Bye-bye.